Hey guys, this is Jamie, your host of the Enter the Nightmare, and this is a, re a review for The Exorcist Believer. The body in the blood. The body in the blood. The body in the blood. Catherine. The body in the blood. The body in the blood. The body in the blood. So yes, guys, this is a review for The Exorcist Believer, directed by David Gordon Green. Uh, he got finished with the Halloween franchise. They decided to go over The Exorcist and make a trilogy. This is a direct sequel to the original. <clears throat> Exorcist. It basically follows this guy whose daughter gets possessed, but it she also um, gets possessed along with one of her friends from school, which we also kind of follow there. Her parents. The main guy we follow, um, Leslie Odom Jr., is plays the the character that we mostly follow in this, with uh, the character of Tan <clears throat> Tanner, and he's at first doesn't really believe in the whole thing, and you know, eventually he meets Ellen Bernstein's character from the original. It's not a spoiler because it's in the trailer, <laughs> um, and slowly he starts to believe in the possession and kind of go through all that. Let's just start with the positives of this review. Um, I'll be honest, there's not a ton. <laughs> I was definitely not a huge fan of this movie, but let's start. Let's try to start positive. Um, I thought the first twenty to thirty minutes of this movie was looking to. It was setting up really well. I I thought this is interesting. It's a different way to kind of get into the possession um, type movie. I thought there's some things in here that they could have. They were looking looking like they were gonna do really well with, and it, it had me set up. Where I was like, eh, maybe this movie has something here, um, but you know that was eventually ruined after the first twenty to th twenty to thirty minutes. Um, also, I thought, I guess another um, positive, the makeup for the girls in that were possessed, I thought actually looked pretty good and then was creepy-like. Uh, but yeah, I mean, unfortunately that kind of ends. I Actually, I, I'll also add this. The, the film, as far as like cinematography and the way it looked and everything, I thought it was, you know... It was a good-looking movie. It it's, didn't have any issues in that way. I mean, but that's but the, unfortunately that is kind of where the positive positives end. Um, we kind of have to get into the negatives. You'll hear this a lot. This movie is definitely a cash grab, and Blumhouse is kind of getting famous for this now. Um, I love. Halloween, I love that franchise, but after 2018, Kills and Ends was a train wreck, and I, I've i pretty much determined that I'm not a huge fan of David Gordon Green's style. Um, something that he really, like, that I've noticed with his dialogue, which is a huge issue in a lot of his movies, that as far as, like, Halloween and now Exorcist, um, a lot of his dialogue feels like speech. It doesn't feel like real dialogue. Like, this is a, this is a huge issue in Halloween Kills. Um, it just seems like people are giving speeches and doesn't feel like anybody's having a real conversation. Uh, and it's just how a lot of his dialogue is, and it's, I don't find it enjoyable whatsoever. Um, another thing, Ellen Bernstein's character is really wasted in this movie. I, I, she almost, she's, there's almost no reason to have her in this film, <laughs> the way they use her, and it's, it's kind of sucks, because it was cool to see her in it when she first shows up, but after that, it's just like, wow, 
I mean, they basically put her in the trailer to get people to see the movie, and boy, you'd be disappointed if that's one of the reasons you went, because she is not used correctly in any sense, um, in any way possible. Um, another, this movie's not scary, which is, sucks, because... To me, the original Exorcist um, is one of the greatest horror films ever made. And the great thing about that, in which this movie fails to understand, is that movie's not great because of jump scares. <laughs> Where this movie clearly goes for. That movie is great because the unsettling feeling you get leaving the theater. The unsettling feeling you get um, from Reg Regan's you know, descent into this whole, you know, her being possessed and what her mom has to go through and the unsettling feeling of just having to witness and just the way that the original was shot. It's just, this movie missed just everything in that ballpark. It's not scary. It doesn't leave you with any feel. I couldn't wait to get out. Honestly, last, I was, towards the end, I just, the movie just, kept going on and on. There's a, there's a, like, an ending scene that just lasts forever, and you're just wishing it's over, unfortunately, and it's, like, the worst part of the movie, because it just drags and drags and drags, and I'm just like, please just be over, because it was, there was nothing happening in that scene. There was nothing. I, there was just a bunch of talking, and people that have seen it will know, and this is a non-spoiler review, so I don't want to go into it too much, but it's very frustrating. Um, as far as the acting, I mean, it was fine. Uh, I don't know that anybody, like, stood out. The dialogue, to me, kind of almost killed some performances, unfortunately. Uh, it just... Blumhouse has definitely been hit or miss, uh, and this, to me, was a big miss. I don't get how you do a trilogy. I don't know how you, where you go from this movie based on the ending. I, I don't really understand what would be the point of a trilogy. Um, I don't think... I, I honestly think possession movies have had the run, and it just feels like they're becoming a, a retread, and every Possession movie is the same thing. Uh, I'm kind of over it. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, this, is, this movie is very generic. It doesn't break any new ground. It makes you sad because, like, if we're going to do a direct sequel, I just want so much better than this, and it's just not even on the same playing field. Um, and this movie, it feels rushed in parts, it definitely feels rushed, but it's also just, but it's still two hours, and it, and you want that two hours to be over with. They rush things that matter in this movie, but yet this movie is too long. I, the last 20 minutes are hard to watch. I, it's hard, not even necessarily hard to watch, just hard to sit through. Uh, I just, again, and the biggest thing, this movie's just not scary. I really, I've really not thought about, like, outside of this review, I just haven't really thought about this movie. It doesn't leave, leave you anything. Um, there's little to no substance, it's just, it's unfortunate, like, I, I've said this word a couple, it's just unfortunate. I, this movie shouldn't have been made. It's just one of those movies that we just... It doesn't make sense for a sequel. It just doesn't. I guess to wrap up this review, give a score. Again, I haven't picked out a scoring system yet, so I'm still kind of doing the 1 out of 10 thing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't even know. Out of 10, I guess I'd go like a... A 3, 3.5, three 3.5 maybe... I, I, don't, I, might, I don't even know if that's being mean or being generous. I, I, I don't think it's an unwatchable movie. There's, I want to say there's some things you could take out to enjoy, but I'm not outside of the first 20 or 30 minutes, I don't think there is. Uh, but, yeah, I, like three and a half out of ten. This is not, it's just, 
Something you've seen a thousand times. I'm tired of David Gordon Green's style. I don't like his dialogue or, you know, whoever writes. I guess that's Scott Teams. Correct me in the in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that guys, that's been your The Exorcist Believer review. Um, I will be having some reactions come out soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm excited about that. And we got the we're in the October season. I'm excited, so let's keep on rocking. This has been Enter the Nightmare, and I'm your host Jamie. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, please. And um, guys, I will see you next time on Enter the Nightmare.